hello guys welcome back to my channel um to continue uh with the um, series of the ideal romantic partner today i'm going to do a request that actually is like a, a follow-up because it's like another exo member um but yes i'm going to be reading for um exos leader of suho so yes we're going to start um he got the cards of King of Swords, High Priestess, the Temperance, a Free of Pentacles, and then from the um, the Oracle of the I Ching of Love, he got the card of Intimacy. So yes, let's see what his ideal romantic partner is. Um, I think that starting with the King of Swords, you know, this is very air element. Um, very he is an, uh, an air sign he is a gemini so yes it does make sense that uh probably he values intelligence a lot you know someone that is very good with words that is uh communicative that also is very assertive you know that they they use their words to to bring some balance and and you know to bring also some clarity for people as also a sort of leader in their own field uh, probably he does admire that you know a partner that it's someone that can capture your attention with the way they speak you know with their speech with the way they with their uh, body language you know he definitely gets very uh, seduced by someone with authority you know someone that that has experience and that has a, a role of authority as well uh, could be someone older but I don't think that it has to do with age it has to do with probably being being used to uh, having some status or having some responsibilities and and you know know it how to play the part you know because you can be actually like uh, someone that it's, it is a boss or or you know in your in your field or in your in your workplace you can have some kind of responsibility but actually being when it comes to in intimacy or when it comes to being uh, in in intimacy with others maybe you are very different and and maybe you are a bit messy in other aspects of your life uh, and I think that when, when I see this king of swords and also this priestess, it has to do with having this sort of like, um, like energy that you have control over your emotions as well. You know, that, that you are someone that are very organized, someone that takes the initiative, um, someone that knows what they want, uh, but that they are very um very comfortable with with knowledge you know they don't get overwhelmed very easily by you know the introduction of new ideas or new challenges you know someone adaptable but someone that is always like always aims for the best you know so this is why i get the, the word leader you know someone that that definitely is very like um always aspires for more you know always is striving for more you know someone that is not average you know someone that that really goes for the best thing in life and they do it naturally especially in the way they communicate their communi uh, communication their communicative skills somehow like guide them for, uh, to success you know, I think that this is something that they are good at. They are, this is a great communicator. This pe this person gives great speech speeches somehow. So you know, uh, could be someone like a journalist. You know, someone that is very good with words. He definitely, but but also as a, a, a spoke person. Um, so yes. Um, and then with with the high priestess, definitely someone that is mysterious, and this is this is something that I think that he definitely values um, 
someone that is mysterious and also that is very reserved about their, um, you know, their, um, their own personal matters. You know, I think that this is also part of being professional somehow, but also being very careful with how much you share of yourself. I think I believe that probably mystery is something that he values a lot. You know, someone that is very sensitive, someone that you definitely sense that there's deepness inside this person, but you cannot quite figure out what is it. You know, so this person is mystery. A being unapproachable, a being unaccessible, you know, like very hard to get in, in the sense that it's very hard to, you know, get this person's attention, you know, and, and, and a bit like, oh, like this person is too mysterious, you know, or is too reserved. But I, I believe that he is into that, you know, he's definitely probably the least he knows about you, the more interested he gets, you know, because it's like he feels like, oh, oh my God, there's there's a hidden gem here. There's a reason why this person is like, you know, is, is so guarded or somehow pro protects so much their intimacy. And probably he also feels, re you know, like he relates to this sort of people, you know, especially in his field or, um you know with the with with his role as as an idol he is someone that um that he you know for him intimacy and privacy it's something that probably he also does a lot in his role so for him it's it's very very important to um you know, to, to somehow do his best, you know, and, and to separate his personal matters or, or personal life from, you know, what he does for a living or, or his profession. Um, and, and I think that, that for him to have a partner that also is very protective of their own intimacy, I, I think that, that for him is the best, you know, someone that he's like, oh, this person, it's very good at keeping secrets, or, or they don't reveal that much about themselves. So this is what I'm looking for, actually. This is something that... And, you know, probably this is very rare, actually, you know, because in the industry, I believe that, that you know, there's something about people being very gossipy, you know, even the idols themselves. So probably if you see someone that is very, you know, resort, he's like, oh, my God, this is, like, perfect, like, professional and also, like resort he's like oh this is the, the one for me and then he had the card of temperance so yeah someone that also you know when it comes to communication they she can feel at peace with this person you know this person can bring temperance to his life you know somehow he can like talk to them and also like express how he feels about certain things that probably he cannot control and this person being very, very like, you know, someone that, that just transmit this sort of like uh, tranquility to his thoughts, you know, to his, that, that just listens and, and also that, that accepts him for, for you know, accepts what he, what he expresses. I, I believe that probably he wants someone that is a good listener, you know, because also, you know the the high priestess you know we always see like oh she's someone that that beholds a lot of information she she knows a lot she has a lot of knowledge but she keeps it to herself you know and and i i believe that that we often forget that also the high priestess it's it's someone that is very good at you know listening without judging you know and i believe that probably he wants someone that has this sort of like a very healing nature that that you feel like you you transform you transmuted yourself while you were in a connection with this person that you are not the same and someone very like that it's somehow it's soothing to be next next to them you know it's healing it's it it, it just brings so much peace you know and and actually they don't do much they probably are just there with you and they don't say much they they are just themselves, you know, 
and I think that probably this is what he's looking for, a bit of quietness, you know, a bit of let's be quiet, let's contemplate, you know, please do not add more drama to my life because I have so much, so I need some some tranquility, you know. Um, and then he had the Three of Pentacles that it's also a card that, that back on he got uh, yesterday, that yes, it, it's a card that that talks about, you know, um, it's a card that actually talks about, um, um, about teamwork and also about how it is important to have a partner that can be collaborative with you. Um, I think that probably for them this is very important to have a, a sort of like partner that can bring a stability to their lives and that they don't give up so soon, you know, because probably dating them is, is very stressful, you know, it's, it's not something that that is like all happiness. But I, I think that probably he wants someone that is able to to be very like like a, a team person, you know, that is like, OK, you and me, we are going to make this work and we're going to put efforts to, you know, to make this this uh, this bond, you know, like grow and, and also to be very um I believe that it has to do with consistency also, you know, with, with okay, let's both put put the effort and let's not give in. And yes, it sounds like very work related word, but, but I believe that when it comes to relationships, uh um this collaboration is very necessary. It's very necessary and, and for them they also need the the security and the insurance to know that that somehow that person is going to be by their side, you know, when things get a bit confusing and when they are worried about their careers or when they are worried about other, other, uh, other things in their life, you know. Um, these are people that actually, from what I noticed when they got these pentacles, some of them do do need stability in their lives, you know, because somehow the, the, the lifestyle that they, they, they live, it's very chaotic. You know, probably the fans look at the more glamorous side, but their everyday, like, functions and also, you know, uh, their responsibilities and everything that they have to do and learn, uh, it's very messy and it's very, and, and it gets very messy when they are busy and it gets a bit like frustrating when there's not much to do, when you're waiting for your turn to be active. So, you know, probably in this in this sense, in the case of, of Suho, he's, he's like more like, okay, I need someone that is going to be loyal and is going to be able to, to understand and accept and support my lifestyle because you know I need to count on this person I need to to know I need to be sure that this person is going to be by my side that we are going to work through this together you know sh this person cannot fail me you know I need them to to really keep their promise um, and then from the card of intimacy that he got uh, that card I'm going to read to you the meaning uh, he got the card of the dimension in which the oracle speaks is not the sphere of security, possession, and jealousy. Intimacy, which is the invisible mountain of love, has its roots in something that cannot be grasped by any of the five senses. It is nothing but emptiness and silence. So see, this is what what I was mentioning when, when I was talking about, about, you know, the temperance and also the high priestess qualities, you know, um, I definitely think that when it comes to intimacy, and this is a word that I used a lot on this, on this reading, especially for him, I believe he wants, he, he's not looking for a tumultuous relationship, you know, he's not looking for that, you know, hot, passionate lover that can just, you know, like, turn your life upside down and surprise you every day, you know, no, he wants someone that actually he can 
contemplate and and spend time in silence you know <laughs> and this i i don't i don't think that it has to do with this this person like not being communicative or not talking at all but i think that he just wants to be with someone that can bring him peace you know someone that that okay we don't need to go crazy on our dates or on our our everyday life together to actually feel like we are happy you know that somehow this person can bring a bit of quietness to his life a bit of contemplation a bit of you know uh, a very yes maybe a bit boring but, but a very peaceful uh, connection and, and also that, that it's the small details and the small things that 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 he really craves you know he craves probably like waking up to this person every day you know and doing something very routinary but he craves that level of intimacy you know that level of intimacy of like oh we went through a lot with this person and actually i do know a lot about this person you know and and, and this person knows a lot about me as well we both know each other in a very intimate level and we know our flaws, we know our our our, our good things. We, we, we really see each other, you know, see each other in their vulnerabilities, in their ups and downs, you know, and they don't judge each other. You know, they don't judge each other. They just exist next to each other. And actually, this is very sweet. And I believe that this is something that he, he, for him is necessary. You know, because probably he had gone through a lot of chaos and now he's like, okay, I need someone that can actually teach me what it feels like to be intimate, you know. And, and intimacy is something that not a lot of people can accomplish, you know, this closeness, this also to be so close to this person that you can actually see them see them raw you know see them without mask see them without pretending see them without you know without all the mask and all the excuses that we put on ourselves or extra accessories that we add to our person to to be a bit more accepted or to look a bit more perfect quote unquote perfect and somehow he's like no I want to I want this person to be as natural as possible and also as transparent as possible um, I want to be able to see them for who they really are and I want to also show myself for who I really am and feel very comfortable in this bond and not feel threatened that they are going to I don't know, like start a rumor or just, you know, destroy their lives. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that this is what he craves. He craves intimacy and someone very patient and loving. So, yes, guys, this is all I have for Suho. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.